Hello everyone. So we are back with this series of lectures on Puri Tara Rattu, and this is the sixteenth video on that series. So although need PG is delayed, but we don't have to stop. Okay. So I haven't stopped making these videos. So you should not stop reading, or you should not slow down your pace because INE set is also coming after three months, and post that you have your need PG exam. So you have two opportunities in front of you. And these tables are equally important for INI set as well as for NEET PG. Okay, so in this we will discuss some most important translocations. Mm -hmm. So translocations are very many. Hematology is full of translocations. But we will discuss some most important translocations which are very many times asked. And first of all, we have the translocation in CML that is translocation 922 which is also known as Philadelphia chromosome. And let us discuss some things about CML. First is that in CML, the patient presents with massive splenomegaly. There are three phases of CML, which you will tell me in the comment section. Mein Treatment is by tyrosine kinase inhibitors. This first generation is imatinib. And in second generation, we have Dasa, Tenib, Bosu, Tenib. We have also third generations TKIs like Pona, Tenib. Okay. Then we have Burkitt lymphoma, which is very aggressive. Okay. And the translocation that we see in Burkitt lymphoma is 8 to 14. Okay. So we'll see key follicular Burkitt, mental, and even in multiple myeloma. We will write the look, this translocation in multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, we have again 11, 14 and 4, 14. So in some way, one thing is common that 14 chromosome is involved. Why? Because 14 chromosome pe jaha translocation hota hai, waha jo aapka antibody molecule hota hai, heavy chain ka gene hota hai, okay? So it is commonly involved, okay? Now in Burkitt's, we have translocation 8, 14. And Burkitt is very aggressive. And since Burkitt is very aggressive, cells itni tezi se multiply karte and beech beech mein macrophages are there. That's why there is a starry sky appearance in Burkitt's lymphoma. Okay, starry sky appearance. Translocation 814 for follicular. And in Burkitt, we have to see See, 14th, mein toh, I told you na, ki there is a heavy chain gene. So, in 8th chromosome, where Burkitt has translocation, ho hai, maha pe there is C mic gene, which is 14th translocated and overactivated. Similarly, in follicular, we have BCL2 gene on chromosome 18. Okay. Now, in mental cell, we have again translocation 11, 14. And in multiple myeloma, we have translocation 11, 14, and 4, 14. So in mental, you will tell me which gene is involved. Okay. Then in Ewing sarcoma, we have translocation 11 and 22. And in M3 type of AML, that is the best prognosis AML, which is responsive to ETRA or transretinoic acid, because we have translocation 15 to 17. So what are the other features of M3 AML? You will tell me in the comment section. Okay. So I asked all these questions to you guys to write in the comment section because when you write now, you will retain it for a longer time. So just don't shy. Don't think that you can give answer bhi de sakte ho ya. Don't, agar aapko aata bhi na, aisa mat sochna ki haan, main likhunga to kya fark You will retain it for longer time. Trust me. All the best.